And uh, so now, man, I think this is a good lead into the to the next kind of part where hey, you're making money. I mean, you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, this is money that uh, you know, it's 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 really good money. It's really good money. You're not you know living paycheck to paycheck anymore. You're you know get a chance to you know, do some really good things, uh, live in great areas, travel. and uh, But from an investment standpoint, you're making you know, good money. So how do you say, OK, now I have to grow this money. I, have to, I just can't get the money and spend it. OK, I'm going to maybe invest in a 401k, things like that. But how, you know, how do you make the decision of where to invest your money at this point? And it's hard, honestly, for me to say good money. And, and, and that's why I encourage people to Google, find out what's out there. So you can go right. to vault.com. That was the website I showed you when we were first yeah. years yeah. Uh, and freshmen in, uh, in our fre yeah, first year uh, law students. Yeah. Yeah. It, it lays out the salaries. You know, I came out of Georgetown making 200K. You can go look that up. Yeah. You know, that's the base salary for a first year associate. Right. And that goes up to like, you know, three, 400 grand. And you're not even talking bonuses. Yeah. But you can actually tangibly go and Google that and see what these people make. For sure. And I'll tell you, that's not, that's not, that's nothing, man. You see our clients, man, there's a guy who's making like 12 million a quarter. And so when you look at what you're doing, I mean, comparison is the thief of joy, but you know, sometimes so is reality. So it's oh, like, you look at that stuff and you're like, you know, I'm doing well, I'm right. doing better than again, my family's ever done. There's levels to it though. There's levels to it, man. But there's levels, levels to it. You know, I got to go to work on Monday. And that's what the part, I love that Mark Whitaker said that to me, man. He's a partner. I was like, man, you make millions of dollars. You know, you're a partner. I want to be like you. I'm second year in law or third year in law school. And yeah. he's like, yo, I got to go to work on Monday. <laughs> that's as real as it comes. I was like, he's right, you know. Yeah. Like, just kick my feet up and then, you know, see my phone. Somebody call him. Like, eh, you know, maybe later. No, right. Somebody call. I got to pick that thing up. So um, in terms of good money, you know, Am I able to do things with it? That's cool. Yes. But I mean, am I where I see myself being or where I want to be? You know, no, it's constant growth. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's really cool. The freedom to be able to make investments, the freedom to be able to take your cash and say, hey, I'm not using this on living expenses. I'm not using this on you know necessities. I'm not using this on things that I want, but I'm going to use this on something that's going to generate more income down the road. That's a really cool space to be in. You know, but I wouldn't by any means say that, you know, it's good money. I don't want to I don't want to knock anyone's situation. No. Yeah, for sure. And I, I guess my whole thing is more so trying to figure out, OK, you're making good money or you're making money. You're making yeah. money that you can invest now. It's not just mm -hmm. I think, again, a, a big part of the channel is when you're making you no know, what they say, the average person makes 40 grand or 50 grand a year. As an individual, is it, it you're. For the most part, you're living paycheck to paycheck, and you don't, you just, it's virtually impossible to have enough money to actually be able to do anything else with that outside of just the bare minimum pay your rent, pay your, you know, your car note, maybe your bills, uh, food, uh, things like that. So now you're at least making money that you can, okay, take and invest 20, 30,000 in this business or maybe in this deal and that deal. So, how, how do you at this point, uh, make the decision or determination of hey i'm investing in this business or i'm investing this real estate deal or what's your investment vehicle and how you make how do you come to the uh what things do you consider when it's time to kind of invest money in these different businesses to yeah and money? that's yeah and that's the cool thing about my practice private equity mergers and acquisitions i see this stuff every day i've been seeing it every day for the past six years or so um and so i tend to say okay i'm not first of all stock market unless we're in a downturn I don't play it. We just don't have enough money to see any real value. If I had, you know, $20 million to throw in the stock market, then, yeah, you know, for 12% sure. increase, that's pretty yeah. cool, you know? But at our stage, it's just hundreds of thousands. You're not really doing anything. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I agree I, with that. And I kind of made a mistake on that. But I mean, it is what it is. It's a learning experience. But you again, ahead. unless it's a downturn. I told you I made 80K yeah. off the, the airlines yeah. when they were yeah. down, even though Warren Buffett said don't. I was like, I'm in the airport right now, um, which kind of goes into one of the points. Um, if I can see it or if I have experience in that space, yeah. I'll put cash behind it okay. or I'll put sweat equity. I love putting sweat equity. That's For not sure. dollars on my pocket. Um, that's one thing. So if I have some sort of experience where I know I can help the business out, um, then I'll do it. The second mm -hmm. thing is if the founder is somebody who I can really believe in and really it's just like, it's always a scale. It's a sliding scale. I'll put more in if you've done something similar 
and you know you've been successful at it than i will if you know i just met you and you seem really gung-ho about it right you know so there's that but i try to stick to spots that i have some sort of tangible you know experience in uh the one exception would be you know no, there's two exceptions one good exception would be the gym the fitness studios yeah. you know i don't have tangible experience running a fitness studio but the guy I invested in he did they yeah. turned 300k into 1.2 in revenues you know, 300k investment into 1.2 in annual yeah. revenues in a matter of like two and a half three years and so their vision is ridiculous so when oh. i got the opportunity to put in cash and help out with the legal stuff because everyone needs a lawyer yeah this is really cool um that was really a cool opportunity and we're still going you know they're opening up their third location in milwaukee uh the loop in chicago and now in lincoln park um but it's a really cool student and the goal is you know we marked we're like hey if you can get 10 of these off the ground we can sell for you know around 20 mil um, which would be really cool 